guys. I want to show you something today um, that I just invented. Um, it's a new type of binder and um, I only have a small amount of it, but I think it works. So I'm going to show you um, two examples of PG7, that famous phthalo green that is notoriously hydrophobic. There we go. Okay, so I have an eighth of a teaspoon of both pigments. Here I have my regular watercolor binder. And here, oh, I have my new watercolor binder. So I'm going to mix them both for you, just with the palette knife to see what happens. So regular, new. This is regular. And as you can see here, it kind of just the pigment stays on the binder and it just it rejects it, right? A mulling helps and you know working it a lot helps. But looking at this binder here, as you can already see in the colour. This pigment still it's very dry pigment that just doesn't want to interact with fluids. But look at this. As if it just melts into the binder. Let me have another careful go at this. Same movements, same precision. Regular binder versus my newly invented. I I, I just I'm, I'm using the word invented since it, it took me a long time to kind of figure it out and loads of trials and errors and I only have I think two teaspoons worth of it but yeah, as you can see now if I'm rubbing it like really hard here yeah, there is some mixing happening but still as you can see from the color this just dissolved into the binder and I would almost say that it needs any mulling anymore. You still feel some particles. You can even hear it. But look at that. It's just two completely different things. Whereas this would kind of need 10 minutes of work like this for it to even come close to get a deep color like that. And it is both PG7 from Crema, both the same pigment, but this just needs so much work. And like dust comes everywhere before it even gets as deep and as close as this because it keeps, you, know, you can't see it, or you can see it on camera a bit here, but there's like a layer of dust on it still and this just this is beautiful I hope you like the example I just showed you as you can see it works on the slab but it needs testing still uh, how it dries how it swatches compared to uh, my, my regular binder um, so I'm not going to share it yet 
Um, I'm not even sure if I'm going to use it in my final product since I think putting in the hard work of mulling a hydrophobic pigment is less work than making this binder. So um, maybe you see something in, uh, of it in the future, uh, maybe you won't, only future can tell, but I hope you like this example and experiment. I'll see you next time.